there are lots of people calling uh, Jewish students and others who speak out against the Israeli government as either fake Jews or self-hating Jews, or they say some some other anti-Semitic remark uh, while claiming that being against the Israeli government is anti-Semitic. They can't see the fact that they're the ones being anti-Semitic for calling Jewish people fake Jews or self-hating Jews for speaking out against a government. Uh, Jewish people aren't fake or uh, self-hating if they speak out against a government. Uh, just because uh, Israel exists doesn't mean Jewish people have to automatically support the Israeli government no matter what the Israeli government does. Two weeks, I have been called a self-hating Jew. I've been called an October 7th denier. I've been called a lot of different names. It's really important um, to be here and show solidarity, um, especially as a Jewish American. It's hard for me to see people talk about the Free Palestine movement and call it anti-Semitism. It's not anti-Semitic to criticize the state of Israel. It's not anti-Semitic to call it a genocide. I'm coming every single day. I'm in finals right now. It's been so Peaceful. There's many Jewish groups here. It's it's hard to see, uh, especially Jewish um, organizations on campus, silencing Jewish students who are speaking out against Israel. I've realized that maybe I don't want to align with those certain organizations. There's certain Jewish organizations. I think one of the one. Yeah, the Zionist Jewish organizations do all they can to silence Jewish students that are speaking out against the Israeli even being anti-Semitic themselves and uh, calling uh, Jewish supporters and uh, speaking out against the Israeli government as fake Jews or self-hating Jews. They're the ones being uh, anti-Semitic. The issue is that a lot of funding that colleges receive is from Jewish donors, and I feel disgusted by the Zionist institutions that try to justify this this genocide in the name